Now that the Justice and Development Party, AK Party, has lost its overall majority for the first time after 13 years in power the graft investigation files about four former ministers involved in a corruption scandal which went in public on December 17, 2013, have been revived with a group of lawyers filing criminal complaints against them. A group of lawyers representing filed a criminal complaint, on behalf of the People's Liberation Party, HKP, against four former ministers Ijmanba, Muammar Guler, Zafar Alian and Erdogan Bayraktar who were implicated in the largest corruption scandal of the history of the country. All graft charges against them were dropped last year following a prosecutor's decision, widely suspected of being politically motivated, in an effort to exonerate those former ministers. In their petition to the Stanbul Chief Prosecutor's Office on Monday, the lawyers underlined that immunity of those ex-ministers was automatically removed after the June 7th general election, clearing the way to bring them before the court. The former ministers are accused of forming a criminal gang and engaging in corruption and malpractice in the petition submitted by lawyers Ihan Erkin, Ali Sirdar Ng and Nar Akbina. They also requested an investigation into the ex-ministers be launched and a bill of indictment to be prepared immediately following the preparation of required documents and collection of evidence. Summary of Proceedings Prepared Against Opposition Leader Kaldera Lug. The pro-government Yeni Saifok Daily has claimed that the Ankara Fifth Penal Court of Peace prepared a summary of proceedings against main opposition Republican People's Party, CHP, leader Kemal Kaldarala for his use in Parliament of voice recordings allegedly featuring then Prime Minister and current President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his son having a discussion about hiding millions of dollars of cash they had stashed at home. The Daily maintained its claims about the motion against Kalderalu and said that it will be sent Parliament in the following days on the grounds that Kalderalu violated Article 83-1 of the Constitution. The proceedings allegedly include demands for the removal of Kalderalu's parliamentary immunity. In the audio recording which was uploaded to the Internet and widely circulated during the December 17 to 25th, 2013 graft probe the voice alleged to belong to Erdogan asked the person at the other end of the line to zero the money. The corruption scandal that erupted into the public arena after the December 17 police raids implicated the sons of three then ministers and high-profile businessmen, including Iranian businessman Reza Zarab, who is accused of gold smuggling and bribery. It was claimed that the alleged conversation between Erdogan and his son had taken place on the morning of December 17, shortly after coordinated police raids. Erdogan has denied the authenticity of the recording. When Kalderalu had CHP deputies listen to the recording during his party's group meeting on February 11, 2014 in Parliament, Erdogan filed a criminal complaint against Kalderalu to the Ankara Chief Prosecutor's Office, who in turn decided not to prosecute. According to the pro-government daily, Erdogan's legal counsel, Muammar Simalolu, then appealed to the Ankara Fifth Penal Court of Peace and the court ruled for removal of the decision of non-prosecution. Relaunch of graft probe possible with single parliamentary question. CHP Deputy Denise Baikal has said that a relaunch of the graft probe into the ex-ministers is possible with a parliamentary question submitted by a single deputy. Speaking to the Hurry Yet Daily on Monday, Baikal reminded that the newly formed parliament will make the final decision about the trial of these former ministers, adding, any single deputy has a right to submit a question on the subject. Then the parliament will surely do whatever is necessary. The AKPAK party has to confront its past mistakes if it really wishes to be a coalition partner for a possible government. Without dealing with this issue, a coalition alternative including the AKP would certainly be difficult. Baikal said that any deputy who acts on the basis of his or her conscience may take the initiative to request that the ex-ministers be investigated and tried. Today the picture of Parliament, in terms of opposition parties controlling the majority to realize this goal, is so convenient, he added.